The crypto market is going down. Looks like most of the cryptos are massively start to stabilize and they're going down by 5, 10, even some, some coins by 20%. But Brent is another story. Looks like we're still stabilizing here. We're still going strong. But we have to check this out. We have to see if Brent can continue to stabilize and then slowly go up. Or are we going to see a massive pullback here for this coin? Guys, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more awesome crypto videos. So let's go and check it out. So here we are on Trade You right now. We can check out Brett and we can see the bloodbath here that's happening. Most of cryptos are stabilizing. If I actually go here to uh, crypto bubbles, we can see that most cryptos here are going exponentially down. The Red Sea is here. Look at Sand. Sand is down by 20%. Mana 14%. So many cryptos are going down. Doge going down by 7%. So, so many cryptos are going down. Let's go to buy the hour. Yeah, some of them try to stabilize right now, but mostly again going down by the hour, which is absolutely insane. But but why is this happening? That's the biggest question, and the answer is pretty simple. It's because of Bitcoin. Yep. When you check out Bitcoin right now, Bitcoin did drop by. Let me just see how much this actually is. It's about seven percent in just one day. That's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money just went that just went out of Bitcoin. So because this massive correction here that happened to Bitcoin, uh, basically every other coin followed Bitcoin, and we can see. Just check it out here. Every coin here just breaking down, breaking down breaking down pretty similar patterns here but bread is actually not following the pattern we're still trying to stabilize here for the sideways which is really really interesting to see i think what's happening to bread right now is that people all are just accumulating bread so people are just accumulating look at this every single time we have a, a drop people just buy look at this i mean look at how many times this happened in, in the same row so one two three four times so four times the people just bought back so people just buying back buy back buy back buy back so we just have a lot of strength in this area it's really really good but why are people buying probably because they're waiting for that listing looks like there is a good probably gonna we're gonna see some kind of major listing happening i'm not sure i can't say anything i have no insider information about that but hopefully we're going to see a massive listing here for Brett in the future. And if we do, then skyrocket. Then Brett is going to go to some extreme, extreme prices. But for now, like I said, stabilization is key here for Brett. And we're going to see if we can hit some new all-time highs pretty soon. But still, like I said, pretty bullish. If you check out the RSI, really good, really stable. If you actually go here to uh, the one-day chart... We can see the R site steadily but slowly going down here. If you do remember, I did talk about this, that we are massively overbought. But now slowly we're stabilizing here, which is a really great sign. And again, a great sign is that we're trying to retouch this blue line here, this 20. And that's really, really cool to see. This is actually pretty bullish behavior. We need to slowly bounce off because once we do touch it, Boom, bounce off, and then continue to go up. But again, what's going to happen the next couple of days? Probably, again, guys, we have to follow the pattern of Bitcoin. We have to see what's going to happen to Bitcoin. And we have a couple of bearish and bullish situations here that, situations here that could happen. If you check out, check out Bitcoin right now, it's trying to stabilize here at, um, let's say, from 92K to 93 to 94K. Yeah, from 92K to 94K is trying to stabilize in this area and a bad thing that happened here is that these two lines did cross the chart but this gold golden line here still hasn't so we still have a lot of room all things that could, that could happen but i do believe that bitcoin should be able to hit that 100k this market cycle and probably get past that number also i think a lot of people will be disappointed in bitcoin if that doesn't happen and then just the next bull run is going to be extremely extremely bearish but i don't believe something like that's going to happen i do believe that we still have a lot of room and that bitcoin can actually go up but now a really bad thing again that's been happening to bitcoin is look at again the rsi massively overbought this whole time and now i mean just now look at this 
the RSI super duper low. And I can already see here, if you check out the one day chart, a massive signal here that's happening. And that is this, uh, the graph here that's forming that could be a massive just reversal. So what could happen is just the people just start to buy right over here. Look at this, boom, something like this. And that's gonna be a, a I, can't, I forgot what's the name, Shooting Star, something like that. It's maybe not a Shooting Star, something like that. But it's pretty, it should be that. And we should be seeing a massive reversal here and then and just then bouncing off. Like that is pretty possible here to happen. Like this is going to be extremely, extremely possible here for that to happen here to Bitcoin. And if we do bounce off, I believe the cryptos are going to be safe and they're going to be okay. But we still needed the pullback we still need the rsi to slowly go down now we have been making lows it's something like this like this is the pattern that's been forming here we are in this like wedge here that's slowly going down but still again that could be bullish in the end that could be pretty much bullish in the end we could be seeing we still bouncing 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 and then finally some good news happening and then just going up and you can just see people accumulating people just accum buying the lows people just buying the lows buying the lows because they believe that bread can reach some new all-time highs that's the hype that's the community it just believes the bread can actually do it and i believe that it could well but it could if we have the listings it can't without the listings we need those listings and if that happens that's gonna be pretty much amazing i just don't know if even even if we have like uh, the base chain on Binance, I'm not sure if we have the base chain on my Binance and that's gonna maybe be a problem. But hopefully these guys are doing something about it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. You're not gonna, I'm not gonna say there is or isn't, but I think there isn't. Not 100% sure about, uh, sure about that. But civilization, again, civilization is key right now. Let's actually zoom in this chart here a little bit. Let's actually go to the one. I'm gonna do this also. Let's go to the one hour chart. And let's see it a little bit closer here. Yeah, look at this again. Bouncing off, bouncing off. We're still bouncing off. We made like a bearish cross here. But again, probably gonna see some bullish break here. Oh yeah, look at this. Bouncing off. But that, this again, this is what happened here. Wick, then we recreate it and we go up again. Look at that, just going up. We're getting rejected here, look, look, literally on this, uh, go, on the golden line. Again, if Bitcoin breaks below, just to make sure, so you guys know, if Bitcoin breaks below, if we start to correct a lot more, like if it reaches, uh, let's say, like 85k, or like, let's say, I don't know, like 88k, if we start to stabilize, like break below and stabilize in that area, uh, bread is going to go down. A bread is gonna go down. We're gonna see probably a 15 to 20 percent correction. So if we are right now, right over here, that's we're probably gonna hit all the way here to 0 0.13, maybe even lower. All depends, maybe like 20 percent correction. A correction is possible only if I see Bitcoin being more bearish than it is right now. So if we break below, like I said, if you go under 90, yeah, we're probably gonna see uh a huge bitcoin correction and then it's gonna take even longer for bitcoin to hit 100k but again that's we, we we're gonna have a lot more time then to accumulate for bitcoin to accumulate because we have been extremely bullish uh this whole month and we need some sort of correction you you know what i mean we need a correction because bitcoin went went up by 46 percent in only like 25 days and that's insane that's absolutely insane. So just in 25, 26 days, Bitcoin increased by 47%. That's ginormous. You need so much money for, for that to happen, and it happened. So Brett, again, the bearish situation is if Bitcoin breaks below, we're going to see a 15, 15 to 20% correction. And that's the truth right there. But... If Bitcoin makes a reversal and we start to stabilize, I'm pretty much still bullish for Brett that we could go to some new heights. Let's just measure again how much we can go up in the short term right now. A little bit, maybe a little bit of change. Look at this, just again, balancing every single time here. 
uh, it's gonna be, like I said here, about 0 0.22. So that's like a price target. If we break through this funnel, if we just break through this funnel, where, let's say we break through right now where we are, that's probably not gonna happen, but we test and go up, boom. How much is that an increase? Let's measure from where we are right now. So from here to here, it's about a 40% increase. But again, it has to be bullish. The market needs to be bullish. We're not bearish because of Bitcoin. In general, we're, we're bullish, but I'm just talking about today and probably maybe even tomorrow. But we are bearish, so you have to remember that. So that's why the whole market is going down. That's why it's a bloodbath, but I still think they are, in general, we are pretty much bullish and we are pre we're pretty much gonna make some new highs but patience patience is key right now in the end guys i'm not a financial advisor if you do want to invest into these coins please do your own research first thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video